Okay, I'm going to show you how to use the Forms Builder. This allows you to drop in any type of questionnaire, application, any type of information you need to gather from website visitors. You can do it with this Form Builder link right here. It's a really cool addition that we have to our websites. You don't have to use an outside form service that gen generates an HTML code. That, and those usually cost about 10 bucks or more per month, so you don't need to do that. It's a free upgrade. So all you have to do is log in to BSP, bestsqueezepage.com, and click Form Builder. A new window will pop up like that. Let me pull that up for you. And here's the BSP Form Builder. Here are just some old forms that I set up for testing. If you want a new form, just click Add New Form right there, and another window will pop open how to create the form. The form title, that'll go at the top my new form How about that okay Oops. and then submit button that's the button at the bottom of the form that the website visitor will click to submit the form and you can type in whatever you want click here redirect to what link do you want them to go to after they fill out the form make sure you include HTTP um, what, what I like about the form is with our squeeze pages. I like that we only ask for the name and email on the first page, on the home page of the squeeze page. That gets a higher opt-in rate. We all know that. On the second page, after you get their initial contact information, that's when you can ask for more information. If you're a realtor, like the property information, or if you need a phone number, or any type of information you need from your website visitors, you do it on the second page after you get their contact information. So you can put in any and then after they fill out your form on the second page, then you could redirect them with this right here, redirect to after submit. Okay, so if you have a free report or you're giving something away, but you want them to fill out the form first, then you'd put the form on the second page and then redirect them to the page with your download video or free report. Okay, and we can do that like that you can put any URL in there you can send them anywhere you want a different website it doesn't matter then save to this is gonna save the information that's gathered you can do you can have an email to you you can have it stored in a database or both okay put your email address on here and then email subject that'll be in the subject this is your your form reply so you know it's a reply from your form and then just click create form that's it now all we have to do is set up the form here it is, it's my new form, okay? And here, just click edit. And a new window will pop up, and this is how you set up your form. Let me show you. Okay, and form settings, here are the form settings with the button label, everything I just set up with the form. Then you just click form element to ask, set up the fields and the questions, and you have several different options. We have drop down menus, let's start with that. Add a drop down list. Okay, and here they are right here, and you can edit them here. Here it is. Let's say, what is your goal? And ask in question format, however you want. And then your options, your answers right here, option one, option two, you want another one? Put um, option three. Look at that. You just type it in there, and it's already in place right there. That's it. Do you want it to be a required field? Answer yes or no. And then the error message, if they don't fill it out, you just type in what you want it to say there. Please enter instruction, which is right here. You can leave a note for them. Like this is required, or anything you want, or you can just delete it, take it out, and then that's it. That one is ready. Just click save. Okay, so your first question is in place. You need another one? Okay, form element. Let's have about a radio button. Take a look at that. Radio button is the field name, so you can change that. Question two. Right, and then again, change your fields here, and you can change them with vertical display or horizontal. Check that out. Just click that. Again, if you want it required, if you want it instructions on the side. If not, just get rid of that, and then click save. Let's say you want to have a an area for um, a larger answer with a bigger field box here. How about that? Okay, right here. Explain why. You know, let's say we have a big question you have. And you can make this wider. That field. Look at that. You can make it up to 500 or, or bigger. 500 might be a little wide. With 400, and you can get rid of this. 
Is it required? Yes or no. Click save. We've got a bunch of different options here. The checkbox, similar to a radio box, but just with a, a box there. And then leave it like that. Let's just say we have everything we want here. Oops. Let me get rid of that again. And then click save. Okay, and while you're doing this, let's say you um, want this checkbox button under right here. All you have to do is drag and drop it. It's a drag and drop um, function here. So you just move that up like that. That's it. Just click on it, move it up. Let's say you want to edit this one right here. Just click this button right here, edit. It'll take you right there. You can just do that right there. Click save. And you've done that. Okay, let's say you want to move it down. You can move it down like that. Okay. If you want to exit out, let's say you don't want the question, just that's what that X is for. And let's say your form is ready right here. You just want it, it's, it's ready to go. Just click save and you're done. All you have to do is go back to that other page and get the form ID. Let me show you. To drop that new form on a page, all you need is this form ID, my new form, form ID 45. Just remember. Okay, you should recognize this page. This is the editing page. So I just went to a page where I want to drop in the form. I clicked the edit function and it brought me here. I'm going to drop in a form. Let's say I want the form right here. Move your cursor to wherever you want it. And then click that button right there, the auto form box. Click that. And here's the form ID. You just type in 45. Now, if you want a highlight box around it, that's what this is for. Okay. Let's say we want a, hi a highlight box. How, why was it 500? Oops, that's a height. Let's say probably 300 by 600. Let's say that. And you want to change the colors, you can do that right there. If you want a border around it, you can do that. Change the border. Type solid dash, thickness of the border, okay, and then just click OK. And that's how it looks like on your website builder, okay? You see three A's, the number of the ID, and like that. Well, let's say you don't want a highlight box, okay? And just go like this, click the forms function, put in 45 again, and then just get rid of this. Make that white. Let's say you don't want anything there either. Make that white right there. Okay, you get the idea. And then just get rid of this, put a zero there, and then there will be no border around it. And then boom. Watch this. Okay, so... Again, that's how it looks like on your website builder. You don't see the form until you go to the live live page. Then just click save here. And now let's go to the live page. And here on the live page, you see the form that we just set up with no background. And then I did one with the blue background too. It's the same form. Okay, so when someone comes here, they fill out this information. They click here. It's going to go to that URL that we set up. I think it was bestsqueezepage.com. So we just fill out these forms right here answer these questions, click here, and it's going to take them to that URL. And here it is right here. So the forms thing is really cool. You can gather information from website visitors after you get their name and email, and then you can send them to any page you want. It can be another page that you set up on bestsqueezepage.com. It can be at your blog. Anything you, Any URL, you can send them right to it and gather the information. You can have it emailed to you and stored in a database um, to find out to check the database, let me show you that real quick. When you click to have the information stored in email and database, like I said, it'll be emailed to you. And then to, to export it right there, click that. All of the information will be in an Excel format. Um, all of your questions in different columns. So if you have 20 questions, there'll be 20 columns with all of the answers um, to your questions. Um, so that's it. Very easy to set up. The BSP Form Builder, a killer free upgrade from bestsqueezepage.com. Thank you.